I'm retiring from CrossFit after this 2015 season so that I can finish my medical school and then pursue residency in my medical career after that. At first they were sort of these separate but parallel paths. I was pursuing medicine and I was pursuing competing in CrossFit. I started to realize that these paths were actually very aligned. Nice, nice, nice. Julie, I think, has the tightest handstand walk in all of CrossFit. 11 flat. It's a lot faster. Just gotta get warmed up, you know? You know, this year has been about a lot of balance. She's really found this harmony in all of the success stories of her life. She hasn't gotten to the top of her sport for no reason. You can't get better than Julie Fouché. And as I got to Minneapolis, I felt like everything was falling into place and I was ready to go. What's it going to take for her to win? Everything she's ever put into CrossFit plus more. And then I started going in for the next set and then all of a sudden I felt like someone dropped a barbell on my leg. It was, you know, obvious that it was torn and this was going to be the end of my career. But then people started asking me, well, what are you going to do? It's an experience that is going to help you help other people. Patients who reported eating no process. There's going to be this paradigm shift, I think, to try and to address the root cause of disease. We need to be able to start practicing in an environment that's better for a patient to understand lifestyle. Seeing patients in 15-minute appointments, like the only thing they can do is almost like put band-aids on these problems. If I have to practice the way they're practicing, I won't. I don't want to do it. She still wants to be competing at that high, high level because that's just Julie in a nutshell. What? Sub twos. Okay, that's better. <laughs> she is going to influence people through this injury in a way that she could never have done with a podium finish. I think that was the greatest gift she could have given.